Another day, another story. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, where I talk about all things anime. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of Dom, a studio that produced some of the most popular slice of life and comedy anime in the 2000s, but then mysteriously disappeared from the scene. What happened to Dom? Why did they stop making new anime? And what legacy did they leave behind? Let's find out. Dom was founded in 1986 by Haruo Nakayama and his wife, Tamiko Yamamoto. They started as a subcontractor for other studios, such as Sunrise, Madhouse, and Gainax. They worked on some of the classic anime of the 80s and 90s, such as Mobile Suit Gundam, Akira, and Neon Genesis Evangelion. Dom also collaborated with Studio Ghibli on some of their films, such as Kiki's Delivery Service and Princess Mononoke. In 1999, Dom made their debut as a major studio with the OVA adaptation of the manga series, Strawberry Marshmallow. This was a cute and funny slice-of-life anime about the everyday lives of four elementary school girls and their older sister. The OVA was well received by fans and critics, and Dom followed it up with a TV series in 2005 and another OVA in 2007. Strawberry Marshmallow was one of the first anime to popularize the Mo and fanservice elements, which are now common in many anime genres. Dom continued to produce more slice-of-life and comedy anime, such as Please Teacher, Minami K, and Hamamaru Kindergarten. They also ventured into other genres, such as sci-fi, romance, and horror. Some of their works were based on manga, light novels, or video games, while others were original creations. Dom was known for their animation quality, character design, and humor. They had a loyal fan base and a distinctive style. However, things started to change for Dom in the 2010s. The anime industry was becoming more competitive and saturated, and Dom faced challenges from other studios that had more resources or better technology. Dom's slice of life and comedy genres may have also lost popularity over time, as the anime market shifted to more action-oriented and dark-themed anime. Dom's last original work was Shiki a horror anime based on a novel by Fuyumi Ono. It was about a rural village that was plagued by a mysterious epidemic and a series of deaths, which turned out to be caused by vampires. Shiki was a departure from Dom's usual style, and it received mixed reviews from critics and fans. Some praised it for its atmosphere, story, and animation, while others criticized it for its slow pace, gore, and character design. Shiki may not have been profitable enough for Dom to continue. According to Wikipedia, Dom ceased the production of titles as a major studio after the end of Shiki. The studio began taking on subcontracting works for other companies and, as of April 2016, have withdrawn from the animation production business. The reason for this decision is not clear, but it may be related to the financial difficulties or the changing trends in the anime industry. Dom's official website has not been updated since 2016 and its Twitter account has been inactive since 2014. It is unknown if Dom will ever resume its animation production or if it has been dissolved completely. Dom's legacy lives on through its works, which are still enjoyed by many anime fans around the world. Some of its works, such as Please Teacher, Minami K, and Strawberry Marshmallow, have been adapted into manga, light novels, or video games. Dom's works have also influenced other anime studios and creators, such as A1 Pictures, Kyoto Animation, and Akiyuki Shinbo. Dom was one of the pioneers of the Mo and fanservice elements, which are now common in many anime genres. Dom's works have also been praised for their animation quality, character design, and humor. Dom may not be active anymore, but it has left a lasting mark on the anime industry and culture. That's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new about Dom and their works. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more anime content. Also, let me know in the comments what you think of Dom and their anime. Which one is your favorite? Which one do you think is underrated? And which one do you wish they would make a sequel for? I'd love to hear your opinions. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!